true. It's not. This might be part of it's true, but not the whole thing is true. And that's how I felt about the Cat Williams thing. Yeah. It's like I was watching it, mm-hmm. and my, you know, first thing in my head, thinking every every part of this is true. Yeah. Like, oh my God, what if all of this is true? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you know, after a little while, you know, watching the internet, watching people ask questions, mm-hmm. um, I noticed that you have to start asking better questions. Yeah. If you want to get, yeah, if you, you want to get yeah, out yeah. of where you are, mm-hmm. if you want to get unstuck, mm-hmm. you got to ask better questions. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite color? Is not a good, <laughs> not a great question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're yeah. interviewing each other. What's yeah. your favorite color? Is not a good question. Okay? No, it's not. All right. It's this doesn't work. Question. Favorite car? Yeah. Blase, blase. These aren't good questions. These aren't yeah. the best questions. They're. Correct. about Chris let's let's just get let's start there man talk uh-huh. about these comedians man yeah exactly first of the year first show of the year y'all the year. right here on the D and D leveling up podcast and if you don't know now, now you know. know that's right y'all we getting right back into it that's yeah. right man man let's go bro let's go since we're talking about it yes let's just go let's just go with somebody that ain't even, they hot right now let's talk Nah, nah, Cat Williams. Cat Williams, bro. Cat, Cat Williams, Williams. Let's go jump straight to it, man. Shay Shay, if Club you Shay haven't Shay. seen Club Shay Shay yeah, with the Cat that. Williams yeah, uh, interview, you need to check it out. Yeah. It's what I like to call mm-hmm. Cat Williams two and a half hour special. <laughs> his own special. It's like his own, his own special, special within that show. That's what I call it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? There's there's truth in there, mm-hmm. and then there's <laughs> entertainment. Yeah, it's all mixed in, but you could watch it. Yeah. <laughs> All day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Some things, you know, mm-hmm. some things, you know, people had to come back and uh um, yeah. and uh, rectify and try to like, yo, yeah, yo, he 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 did yeah. have a great yeah. interview, but yeah, he said a bunch of stuff that that could leave a lot of people in a lot of bad spots. Okay. Let's talk about let's talk about that, man. Yeah. Let's like let's talk about how Ice Cube has to get on. Oh yeah, the Ice Cube had to yeah, because he had to get on the and internet and substantiate something straight, straight. You know what yeah, I'm saying? He's yeah. like, yo, yeah. Uh, he was right about some things. Yeah. You can keep it hunted about some things. Yeah. But let's be real. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, he was like, the one thing that Q wanted to fix was, mm-hmm. he was like, look, that scene was never supposed to be anybody getting raped. Okay. Uh, this yeah. is uh, Money Mike. Money Mike. Money Mike and, um, and Terry Crews. Terry Crews. And Friday. Friday after next. Friday. Next Friday. Is, it next, next Friday? Friday? is it next Friday? It's it's next Friday. Friday after next. Friday after next. Friday after next. And so... There's a scene where Cat Williams says in the interview, he says that uh, the writers wrote that Cat Williams was supposed to actually be uh, taken advantage of. Mm-hmm. And he stood up. By Terry Crews. He stood up and, and, um, and, and changed, changed and got changed, them to change, change, change the, the, script. the script on his own yeah. and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. He was like, Q was like, nah, man. Mm-hmm. That's not how that went down. It was never. My movies are never like that. Why would you? Yeah. yeah why, why would you, you assume that? that? You but that if you sense. if you watch the interview, uh-huh. that part flies by so fast. Yeah. Yeah. It does. It's pretty much really. really it's, but it's like a little detail. Like if somebody that was really paying attention uh-huh. was paying attention, it'd be like, "Yo, mm. you mean Q Vision was making mm. videos where people get taken advantage of?" Yeah. Exactly. On yeah. scene, on scene, yeah, it probably wouldn't, it wouldn't, wouldn't fly anyway. He it wouldn't fly. Want, it's not a cute that, thing. Yeah, it's not a cute thing. He it's probably wouldn't want nah. that anyways. Yeah. Nah, 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 not on, not on camera implied. like that. Yeah. It was maybe, maybe it was implied. Yeah, it was implied. But, but then you know, cat implied that yeah. he, that he helped, he yeah. helped so much and, and did so yeah. much work on that movie. Yeah. When he had like a part that was almost like. Mm. Five percent, three percent of the movie. Yeah, exactly. He was hardly in he the was movie. He was hardly in the movie. He was in the yeah. movie as much as the person he was picking at. Exactly. Um, Ricky, was, Smiley. Ricky Smiley. I don't even know if he Ricky was in the, Smiley. In the I don't remember Ricky Smiley in the movie. He was like a thief. He was. He was, he, he was the Santa, Santa Claus. Was that was that was, was a, a, a yeah. drunkie. Uh, yeah. a, a, like a junkie. A junkie stealing yeah. stuff from people's houses, exactly. and I'm like, I'm like, yo, but I can't believe that he was on set. Like, mm. like I should have been Money Mike. Yeah, he probably I did, did that. I, yeah. could, I could, I could, mm. I could feel, I could, I, I kind of. Yeah, I could feel that because it's a, it's a bigger. It's, it's a more some true to the cat's an interview, bro. It's a more of an interesting yes. role. Like, I mean, at at that point, wh- who would you rather play? The stealing junkie, uh, coke junkie, or whatever, or crackhead, uh-huh. uh, uh, Santa Claus is stealing stuff, 
Oh, you want to be seen as Money Mike, who's a pimp, who's, a pimp. who's coming out there looking cool. Got the lady. Got the ladies and all that stuff. And he had a bet. And it, even you got to remember his even his intro was more interesting because he kind of you know how he yeah. came in. You gonna get more screen time. Man, was, I didn't even know that was Ricky Smiley for a long time. I think Ricky Smiley gets to be one of the first characters on in yeah. the movie, sort yeah. of kind of. Yeah. And um, which was okay, a yeah. good movie debut. Yeah. But you don't see him in nothing else no, after that. No, no. And uh, Cat kind of alluded to that too. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. Was, he was like, "Man, you don't see him in nothing else after that." He's yeah. like, <laughs> and it was absolutely insane. Mm. This two, two hour and forty five minute video. Yeah. We're gonna put it in, in, in put the it, link. Yeah, we're gonna, the we're gonna keep link. moving because I know you've seen it already, yeah, exactly. bro. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put the link in, in the video right here. All right. Exactly. Oh man. So the craziness. So we got a lot of craziness going on, bro. Like let's let's talk about that, right? Let's uh, go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go Illuminati. Yeah. Let's apparently, go. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> all of, all yeah. of these people that he does that Cat William doesn't like, yeah. is Illuminati in some type of way. Exactly. But he's talked about the whole Illuminati thing. If you know what the Illuminati thing is, like several people in Hollywood and also business and they control actually these industries. Yeah. They kind of pull the strings, and if you don't really work together with these people, you're pretty much on the outside. That's why certain people are not making movies because they're not in the Illuminati or not in, or they're not in music. They're not at this level because they don't decide to become part of the Illuminati. Ooh. So, you know, it comes from an Italian term. Right. And, he, and he's going on talking about how they wanted to put him in this dress. Yeah, exactly. For a Martin a Lawrence thing. movie. Yeah. And he was like. No, he, we already you already did the dress in the first movie. Yeah. Why do you have to do it again? Yeah. With me too. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> he was like, no, I don't want to do that. Dave Chappelle supposedly didn't want to wear the dress. Dave too. Chappelle does an interview where he says that he yeah. didn't want to do a dress. Yeah. And they asked him, you know, three, four times, but then <laughs> after it. he said yeah. no for no no, yeah. they already had a script, script without that. Exactly. So So they were trying to make him do that for some reason. Exactly. Like, it's like a like, demasculation of the black man. That's that's situation. that's where that, that comes into what yeah. we're talking about is that yeah. they actually if you like we take so much stuff for granted, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like giving up our information. Mm -hmm. We don't know that that every place that we put social media stuff mm -hmm. is our information. You give Correct. them your location, who you like, who you don't like, who yeah. you with. You show them who you sold, who, what type of stuff you like, yeah. where you like it, when you like it. You done told them <laughs> yeah. everything for yeah. free. Yeah, exactly. And you're so the they, product. And, and they create a data set around you based on, on all your likes and your dislikes. So, so how they can sell to you. Yeah. So they try, they try and get to you, you know what I'm saying? With this Cat Williams thing, they try and... And the uh, Dave Chappelle thing, yeah. Oh my gosh, bro! Y'all yeah. know the Dave Chappelle story, man. Yeah. You go, you make the 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 net the um, you go, you make the network thirty million dollars. Yeah. Or three hundred, I think it was like three hundred million. Yeah, yeah. It was like three hundred million, and mm -hmm. they want to pay you fifty. Exactly, it makes no and sense. And he's like, this makes no sense. But that's huh? business. In their mind, it's just business. It's just business to them. Yeah. Then they say that we don't even. Mm -hmm. That's too much for your contract altogether, bro. Like this contract is null and void because we made so much more money yeah. than we expected. Expected me. So now your contract is gone. Bro, bro, like, so huh? You know the funny thing is, I think that every company is like that. Even with the company that yeah. I work with, you know, they're like, "Oh, we pay you too much money." I was like, "What are you talking about? You pay I me too much you. money? How could you pay? You're not paying me what I'm worth." There it if is. If I'm getting paid, if, even if I'm getting paid, uh, like a, a larger percentage of mm -hmm. what the normal person makes. For that position that I'm getting paid for, I'm getting what the market value is. And even the market value, no matter what company that you work for, you're not going to get paid what you're worth. You're going to get paid what they can pay you. No, but there we go. You know what I'm saying? And they, what you're worth. That whole, this whole Cat Williams thing talking about mm. how several different other entertainers yeah. are all <laughs> part of this, this Illuminati. This Illuminati. Which means the he, enlightened ones. Almost to the point where yeah. he says like, it's it's a package that they get. Yeah. And he was he was talking about yeah. ludicrous. Yeah. Oh, he was I talking, didn't even know. Yo, man, you got to go go watch it, bro. Oh my gosh. Mm. I'm watching this thing like it's a special. It's a two and a half hour special. Yeah. Cat Cat Williams special. It's the funniest stuff I've ever heard. It's heard hilarious. Cat Williams say, bro. Yeah. And and but it's true to it, so that's why you keep kind of watching it because you yeah. can believe yeah. some of the truth in it. Mm -hmm. And. It's sort of like a lie. Yeah. That's what makes a lot more appealing. Yeah, of course. Is that it has a just a little bit of truth. A grain of truth. Grain of truth in it. Exactly. Enough. So I'm like, this is entertainment. Yeah. I'm like, I can't take everything that Cat Williams has to say mm -hmm. to heart. And that's a lot of people's problem. That's is true. that they're like believing everything he had to yeah, say. Exactly. And then they go, 
Well, he can't be telling the truth. So all of it, all <laughs> of it's got to be a lie. Now you got to discredit the man yeah, yeah. totally yeah, yeah. because he, because you saw a little bit of the truth in it. Yeah. But you can see where it can be. That's not. That's, it not, can't. It's not congruent it's not to what's going on. Us. Exactly. It's almost like the whole thing with Charleston White. You know, Charleston oh. White just goes off. I don't know if you don't know Charleston White. Shout out to him. But I like Charleston White. But he. He's always doing, he's just saying certain things. He'll say a good amount of wisdom. Right. And then he'll just blurt something crazy about eating babies or doing something weird. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and about, you know, it's just kind of weird stuff just out there just to, and then he'll tell, he'll go behind, he'll say like, oh, well, I'm just playing a character here. But then he'll Look. give great wisdom here, but then it's hard to, to make it congruent. You can't speak at it. The Bible talks about speaking out of both sides of your mouth. Right. You can't be like, oh, okay, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? This is this is a good thing for you to do here. But, man, you should put your baby in the microwave. You know what I'm saying? You can't, nah, you can't say things like that. I, I get that, man, yeah. but I'm, I'm, I'm more on the side of, mm. of to get people. Mm. The Bible also says, it also talks about how you can't just eat. Um, the fruit of the spirit, like like the fruit of the spirit, just whole at first. Yeah, you can't just throw yeah the Bible at somebody <laughs> yeah. and, and, and without them knowing what the they and yeah. the and, yeah. and it's also what this stuff too. means. It's got it's to be in context. It's got to be in context, and exactly. it's got to be like if you're a baby in Christ. Yeah, if you're starting out, mm. you're not going. The heavier stuff mm. isn't going to. You're not it's going to fly like, over your head. You can't it's not. It, 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 it speaks milk. on yeah. how you give it, right? Yeah, yeah. and. Charleston White just had an interview with a, a football player. I forgot his name. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? If I when I remember this guy, you're gonna put it. I'm gonna put it across the screen. This guy right here, he does a really, really, really good job. Uh-huh. Right? It's not Shannon Sharp. Mm. It's it's uh, I always wondered if it was Shannon. Oh my God! It's not Shannon Sharp. It's the guy who wears a, the big tall Cam hats. Newton? Cam, Cam Newton. Newton. <laughs> See, Cam. I had to do last year. Cam. Cam Newton. So he gets on there with Cam. Yeah. And Cam is like, man. I hear what you're saying, mm. but it's about delivery. Yeah. And he was like, y'all don't care how them other people deliver y'all stuff? Yeah. When they saying they, they going to F your wife and, yeah. and shoot somebody, and they actually singing about something they actually did, yeah. you didn't care it in. Yeah. That's you didn't true. care about delivery when that happened. Yeah. Why, when I started speaking truth, <laughs> yeah. now you worried about delivery? Yeah. Yeah. He's a smart guy. It's very, very, very. This guy, and I, you know, when you go back and you look him up, mm. he's not that character. He's not that character. Five, six years ago. You know, not only that, if you start looking back, he's like he's been like actually like a social reformer, big time. like a community organizer, right? Trying to do all and and a person who's gone to several chambers of commerce, gone to the government. Like people know him in the chamber of commerce and the government, and some of the governors and some of the senators know him because he's gone into communities and try to clean them up and create organizations and th- this guy is a very intelligent guy oh, very, very so i'm like i'm like once he said he was doing the character i was like that's what i'm gonna treat it as yeah 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 you know what i'm saying i'm not going to be like oh he's a, uh he has to be a super righteous person because yeah nobody nobody's gonna make it on yeah. the screen being Super righteous. Super right. No, you're not going to. The Bible get, talks about you're being not going to be able to get righteous. straight to them. Yeah, and the Bible does talk about being overly righteous. If you're trying to yeah. get to people, yeah. you got to use you got to use your wits about you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. The, but you know, you try not to let your evil be your your, your good, the good be, be, be evil be, spoken of. Be evil spoken of. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, this way, at least they get a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I think it is. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You spoon it's, feed it. Yeah, you know what I'm almost, saying? It's almost like you know. I remember one time someone was talking to Al Green, and they're like talking to Al Green about like him, you know, converting you know, people over into Christ. And you know, he became a you know he was a secular artist for a long time. Right. And they became a pastor, and they're like, "Well, what you need to do? You need to do the opposite of the thing the devil does. You need to put a certain amount of truth in this in this orange, mm-hmm. so that they can get it. But of course, they're going to be looking at the orange." If you want to put truth in there, it's kind of almost the same situation with with the enemy. He does; right. he'll put a grain of truth in something else, and so. But the in, if you keep on digging through all the layers of that onion, mm-hmm. there's a lie there. But you know, on the outside, it looks like the truth, and that's what, what makes it makes you kind of like you know go, "Hey, man, I don't know if this is right or not." You know, and especially when people who are liars, they kind of remember mm-hmm. everything they're going to tell you, so it's kind of hard to catch them. And if, it, if there's a grain of truth, you're like, "Yeah, that is true." But then your mind doesn't go to to the deep level right. to try to investigate that and to be like, oh, you know what? 
It's not. This might be part of it's true, but not the whole thing is true. And that's how I felt about the Cat Williams thing. Yeah. It's like I was watching it, mm-hmm. and my, you know, first thing in my head, thinking every every part of this is true. Yeah. Like, oh my God, what if all of this is true? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you know, after a little while, you know, watching the internet, watching people ask questions, mm-hmm. um, I noticed that you have to start asking better questions. Yeah. If you want to get, yeah, if you, you want to get yeah, exactly. out of where you are, mm-hmm. if you want to get unstuck, mm-hmm. you got to ask better questions. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite color? Is not a good, <laughs> not a great question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're yeah. interviewing each other. What's yeah. your favorite color? Is not a good question. Okay? No, it's not. All right. It's it doesn't work. Question. Favorite car? Yeah. Blase, blase. These aren't good questions. These aren't yeah. the best questions. They're Correct. good questions, but they're not the best. Yeah. So you got to start asking better questions. And part of watching Cat was like, mm-hmm. okay. What if he's doing just what he does? Yeah, he could be just he could, he could, he could, he could put literally a, he could be doing a, a skit right there. He could be doing a skit this entire you know time, saying? but putting in yeah. little pieces of truth everywhere. But here's some we have to remember though. Think about being being. And I was looking at the analyzation of comedians, right? Like Dave Chappelle is a master of like there's a, a way that you could take a joke that he has in the beginning and mm-hmm. he just goes back and loops. Oh man, you know what I'm saying yes, sir. So, there's ways of, of creating. Now, you got to remember, these guys remember all this information. So you remember, you're going through, and I remember I was talking to a, 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 a um, shout out to Fifi Frazier, because you told me about this, and I, I didn't even realize it. She's a comedian. Mm-hmm. And she was telling me that he's a master at looping, right? Mm-hmm. Like certain certain jokes and having it come back around. And you're, you're going to laugh at something he started in the beginning. Yeah. And then how she would actually... Start. I was like, well, how do you and how do you actually start like you know memorizing all this stuff? She says, well, it's almost like how music is. You know, like you can read as a musician, you'll read a page to page, right? Mm-hmm. But you could memorize a certain amount and be looking ahead, so you've memorized what's in front of you. So by the time you get over here, you you start memorizing that, and you you keep on moving the page over. Mm-hmm. So by you looking ahead, you just keep on memorizing. So every time you turn the page, you're you're still you're still moving forward. So she says she'll, she'll be on a joke, and she's thinking about the next two or three jokes mm-hmm. before she gets to them. So she's like on this joke, speaking to you about something right. and talking to you. But in, in reality, in her head, she's right here at this joke, or she's down. She's two jokes down the line, preparing it yeah. for, for 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 her to delivery. And I was like, wow, he could have been doing that that whole that whole thing. time. Like, whole wait, time. I'm waiting on it. But he was, like, steering the ship the entire time, yeah, cause, bro. Yeah, because Shay Shay couldn't say it. He, he was, like, like, he was you like, know, he was just like, I can't say anything. He was like, man, if I say something, I'm defending, you know what I'm saying? I'm defending he, he, this. You're like, I, I want to create, you know, yeah. his big thing was like, I'm a, I'm a, this this place is a good place for. A safe space. A safe space for yeah. people to yeah, exactly. come and talk and talk, talk yeah, their stuff. Exactly. And it's more of a conversation yeah. than a journalistic interview. Yeah, exactly. And, and people wanted to be like an yeah. interview. Yeah. You wanted course. to be all truth. Yeah. But know that this is like <laughs> this barbershop is this is barbershop talk. Yeah. barbershop yeah. talk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With serious, With serious implications. implications. <laughs> and the implications you can see that have come back. The only problem mm-hmm. with this special, and mm-hmm. I feel like people have the only problem that happened with this special uh-huh. is that it went viral. Yeah. Of course, but this you know is that's the only problem people have with it. Yeah. Because when everybody else said their lies, yeah. nobody, nobody came said, back and hey, said, true, Shannon, yeah. you should have um yeah, you should have drilled him about this and drilled him about yeah. that. Yeah. But he's like they didn't they when they tell me something, I assume it's true. Yeah. And I'm not I'm not here to debate with them yeah. on I'm here to have a conversation with Correct. them. Correct. You're supposed to expose, it's, it's, expose I'm here to expose I'm here to have them tell their truth. True. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like I'm like, yo. But yo, he's a polarizing figure, though. Oh. See, the thing is, you got well, you, you got to remember, when you put a person on who's polarizing, who's like, who kind of pushes the edges on things, you know what you're doing. You know what you're expecting. So, like, if you put put uh, Cat Williams on there, Cat Williams is going to be Cat Williams. He so, touched everybody that t- came on the touch, show, he's bro. He's going to touch a nerve. And, he was not, <laughs> and you know what? He said, in his defense, he said, I only did that because they mentioned my name. I'm not going to talk Ooh. about you being mentioned my name. And it makes a lot of sense. Like, if you're not going to... Listen, I would have nothing to say to you. You know, Cedric the Entertainer, all these other people. You, you added other people I didn't even know was in the list. Ooh. You added Cedric Entertainer. There's you, you, Seth, you, you, Steve, you Steve Harvey. There's Earthquake. 
boy. Oh, he, he go, he's going in on this. He's people. going. Me and saying Earthquake is illiterate. Oh, I was like, yes, that's rough. I was like, this is that's, rough. That's, that's some rough stuff. Yeah. It's like bullying. Like it's almost like yeah. cyberbullying. <laughs> it's almost like cyberbullying. But he if said, it doesn't go viral, is it cyberbullying? That's another. That's another podcast. That's, another, that's a good <laughs> question. If it doesn't go viral, if it only shows five hundred thousand people, yeah, is it bullying? If nobody sees it the day after, you know, I mean, bullying is bullying. <laughs> I think it's. I think it's bullying. I think, I it's, think it's. I think it's like genius type. And it might be genius type because I, now he's the time to hit all cylinders. It's either that or like people. super righteousness. Like, yo, he was I'm not about, gonna let you t- talk yeah, on my name. Yeah, and exactly. just Be able to walk off. Exactly. You don't, walk you, off you, into you, the sun. You you you, you get, get you getting ha 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 ha. You exactly. get chopped up. You get see that you get the chopper out. <laughs> see, you don't get to talk about me. You don't get to see, talk about me. And then and I don't then, respond, and then be mad at me because I'm responding. That you know said that that's what his that's what his whole premise is. I these guys have gone onto this network. Nobody cared what they said about Nobody me. Nobody cared what they said about me. Nobody called me up. Exactly. I didn't get on the internet <laughs> and start talking back about them. Exactly. Didn't even happen. Exactly. But now everybody needs to see everybody. Now when I got every, to say, I got something to say oh it's sad. Oh oh Kevin Hart's like sad. It's so sad. <laughs> You, know, you got nothing else to say, right? But you know, it's the, and but you know what the thing is, Cat. What he was saying this is that listen, I don't. There's nothing that they have that I, I, I need from them. I don't need to be in the movies like them. I got my Ooh. own money. I, there's nothing I need from them. Like it's nothing you know, I ever wanted. You know wanted. I never wanted from any of these individuals. They can't do anything for me. So I don't have any allegiance or reason to lie to you about situations that that have occurred to me. Now I think he might be skirting around certain. Aspect, yeah, he's an his, 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 interp- his interpretation or perspective might be different. Ooh. He might not even be lying. He just like that's not, his perspective. That's his perspective, and it's know, always that. Though. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, what people might have. You might. It might be a situation where his perspective is skewed toward what what he he perceives. What well, he wanted to have. Happen. He wanted to have happen, and it might not be that it's not true. It's just that how he perceived it, and how he and how he said it back out to the rest of the world. Exactly. Did he know he was going to be saying this to the entire world? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my God! I'm pretty sure he really thought that this was going to be something yeah. that they just put in the yeah put they away. The side. Like they're not going. They're not going. They're not going to air, air this. You know. You know. You mentioned. What is go? But you had to mention too many people, bro. Oh. Like you mentioned that many people. Oh. Like, oh. They're like, okay, because you gotta remember every every market has a segment, and every segment has a, a level of loyalty. So because of that level of loyalty, some people are like ludicrous people, some people are Kevin Hart people, oh. some people are earthquake people, some people are said entertainer people. Now, no, that's said. That's my favorite comedian. How are you gonna talk about my favorite comedian? Blah 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 blah. blah. All the you know favorites. Saying? Yeah. Exactly. All the favorites that kind of too. took the same route. Yeah. Which is he mentioned everybody that patterns, took though. kind of a certain route. It's, yeah, it's a lot of patterns. patterns. There's a lot of patterns this, in there. What what I feel like, okay, what I feel like he did mm-hmm. was like move the veil over. He didn't completely No, he can't I'm not saying yeah. that his yeah. that that he told all the truth, mm-hmm. but he took the time yeah. to create a space where you can just, just see you know, you know what he where you can he, he, he he moved it back. And yeah, the veil comes back. Yeah, you can, where you can peek back, where you can yeah. peek into the truth. Like yeah, yeah. he didn't give you all, he gave you enough to say, let me let me see about this. Yeah, let me investigate a little bit. And it may not have been all the way true, but it's enough to make you go. Make you think, yeah. Hmm. Mm, yeah. You mm. start going to look up these wives, and people start to put <laughs> yeah. collages together. Yeah. With all the wives looking the same. Yeah. Yeah. Shout uh, out to Cat Williams. Shout out to Cat Williams. Oh, uh, it's too close. He too put much. he put the pattern together yeah. and was like, "Yo, here's here's what I want y'all to see. What I'm seeing. Exactly. Look at this pattern. Exactly. It only applies to these seven brothers. And I'm seeing this all that the I'm time. I'm talking to. I'm exactly. seeing this all the time. Yeah. Now this goes back to a conversation that I had mm-hmm. a couple. I think we probably had that here on this podcast. Mm-hmm. We were talking about mm-hmm. we were talking about how certain comedians have like a route. Yeah. Like yeah, there's yeah. like there's one comedian, but there's one black comedian yeah, yeah. for for media. Yeah, every couple of years. Yeah, and it's only one that can one. be at the top. Kevin Hart right now. <laughs> Kevin Hart yeah. as as of right now, right? Yeah. Dave Chappelle, but Steph there was Child. we got we got you know if I how far I'm going back. Mm. Okay, so we got Red Fox was on TV for a minute. Yeah, he was on. It was real, real, was real big. big. Yeah. Right mm. after Red Fox, I think it was Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor, yeah. Richard Pryor turns into Eddie Murphy. Murphy. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, Eddie Murphy. Who was next uh, for a really long time? To be black, with, black uh, comedian after Eddie Murphy. Gosh, bro. Who would have been next? It wouldn't have been. Would have been Mac. said. It would have been Bernie Mac said or 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 um. But Bernie Mac didn't do. Bernie, Bernie Mac, Mac had a show Bernie though. Mac Bernie Mac had, had, a had a show. show, but I'm talking about these Who's guys it? did star. I think Dave stuff. Chappelle. It had to be Dave Chappelle. It had to be Dave Chappelle. After. Yeah, after Eddie after Murphy. After Eddie Murphy? You know how many years Chappelle. it is before Dave no, Chappelle? No, because remember Dave Chappelle's... You have to remember Dave Chappelle's show was going on. That was big at the time. No, no, no. I'm talking about... In terms I'm of talking big. about people who do Kevin Hart type stuff. Okay. There is not... You're talking about the, at, at the their level? Period, at their period of time. Uh, I don't who think... Who was that, the I don't think iconic... That. Who was the... I have this theory that we that have a timeline yeah. of... Black comedians that get put in the light, yeah, in like big, big spots. I don't think they get shown been. to all markets. I don't think there. I don't think there has been because Dave Chappelle used to do like really like C and D movies. You know what I'm saying? That's why I didn't put so, Dave Chappelle in. Chris there. Rock would have been. Chris Rock would be next. Chris Rock would be next because Chris Rock is the person who's really. Chris he'd Rock be, would be, be next. He was be in. Next. He was in all the other movies, yeah, all the other big stuff. He would be the next. He would be the next. He'd be the next token. Then you also got. Chris Tucker, after Chris Rock, but Chris Tucker didn't do that to that many specials. His stuff wasn't. His stuff he, wasn't he got special. too. He got famous too quickly. Like he did Def Jam. Mm-hmm. After he did Def Jam, he went right into Rush Hour, and his his career just took off. He never went back. But it would be Chris Rock because Chris Rock was really kind of Eddie Murphy's understudy because Eddie Murphy was kind of pulling Chris Rock. It would have to be Chris Rock. But but I don't know. 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 I'm talking about like. Like I feel like level? Chris Rock is like Chris, Rock. Chris Rock's like B level. Mm, Chris Rock has got a lot of money. Chris Rock, Chris Rock got a lot of money. No, okay, Chris Rock, yeah, Chris Rock A level. I thought you were talking about Chris Tucker. Yeah, Chris Tucker, like in terms of, of in terms of notoriety or in terms of comedy. I'm talking about like are you talking about stand up? Who about stand-up? represented us as a black? Comedian it would be, Chris, it would be Chris Rock. It would be Chris Rock because remember when after Eddie Murphy did Raw, it would Eddie be Chris Murphy. Rock. Chris in, Rock in that show. What he do? He did like um, he had his own special. He had two specials. His own specials. Those two specials. He did more. movies. Yeah. Yeah. He did both. Yeah. He did Hollywood. Yeah. Blah blah blah. That's the type of comedians I'm talking about. People yeah. that would be seen as like, oh, that's oh, that's 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 new. That's the new black guy. <laughs> yeah. All right. So <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Richard Pryor did a couple of movies back in the, back in the eighties and seventies yeah. that were like huge. Yeah. Um. Until he got sick. Exactly. And then you had Eddie Murphy come along, mm-hmm. which was happening at the same. It was just happening co- kind sort of, of kind of at the same time. Kind of switched, switched, right? Over, yeah. So now Eddie Murphy's everywhere. He's yeah. in everybody's box office, white or black. Yeah. Um. That's the type of comedian I'm talking about. Translate that people that translate, translate that that have made the shift, the shift yeah. from just being a black they're just comedian mainstream. to they're, they're, mainstream. They're just you're mainstream. on everything. Yeah. You're on mugs. You're on you're on TV. You're yeah. selling yeah. Um, tequila. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now mm. we got Chris Rock. Mm. Now what? Who who will be after Chris Rock? I think said 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 the entertainment comes after that. Because Seth yeah. plays, Seth does these shows. Seth has done a lot of movies. Only, only white. Only white. Yeah, that's only what I'm saying. Yeah, only white, but you know, the thing is, he's never. See, the thing about Seth, like, Seth has gone to white mainstream. He might have been one of those guys you saw. Oh, you know what? Martin Lawrence, bro. Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence. Forgot Martin, about Martin Lawrence. Lawrence. I forgot Martin. Martin, Martin, Martin Lawrence. Martin, actually. Is Martin he always forget about Chris? Martin, bro. I think, I think it's Martin Chris, then Martin. Martin. No, yeah, it's Chris then Martin. It had to be Martin because Martin had his own show. Yeah, That's his only shows, other comedians. Own movies. I'm not talking about just shows. Every, all the comedians had their own. Yeah, yeah. A, a lot of but really good ones them, out right now yeah. had their own show. But some of them sucked though. <laughs> nah, some of them really did. Mark Curry shows. Mark Curry. Yeah, D.L. Hughley's. It didn't get. A, it didn't get a chance. The D.L. Hughley one. I really liked the D.L. Hughley. Really. One. That was funny to me. I it was representation for me. I gotta go back and see. But it I did was, like I did like Dio. I, he's actually one of my favorite comedians. Period. It was more representation for me. Yeah. yeah. And what's the is his lady name? The, the wife in the show. Was uh, it Elise O'Neill? Elise, Elise O'Neill? Elise, something like that. She. That was for me. That was me. Yeah. That show was dope to me. It was dope. I love. I, I, I love the representation of it because we were starting to lose shows. Yeah. Yeah. You know exactly. How many shows after the Cosby's? Started like going down. Like, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's everybody's <laughs> exactly. doing a little worse. 
Yeah. But um, that you, was on for a couple you, of seasons. You ever notice that though? People, I don't know if people notice is that there was this period of time where we had black exploitation exploitation movies, right? Yeah. Where they were trying to like like it seemed like the like Hollywood was trying to make up for all the stuff that was going on in black in in black life, like having the black man go against the man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To keep black people inspired. And then you had that whole Spike Lee era when we were like getting movies like black movies were coming out all over the place, right? Mm-hmm. Like you had Menace to Society, you had, you know what I'm saying, Boys in the Hood, you had all this black stuff, and then it just dropped. We don't have no black movies for like a long time. And then now we're just like you have Selma or like the wow. or like the uh the um the uh the one with the, the butler. Uh, the butler, I guess it's called the, the butler. butler, right? That, you know, you yeah. have Precious or something. You know what I'm saying? But you don't have any things that see us in any other light. A 360. I was just looking at, like, online. I was, like, looking at shows. And I was like, you know what? There's nothing online that really represents the totality of of, of black people or or African Americans in different aspects. Where's our, where's our corporate, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, corporate mm-hmm. situation? Where's our, the, you know what I'm saying? Where is this situation where we're, we're, we're we actually have a normal family where you act. That's why I like the college because it was actually normal family. Not all this. Oh, somebody's gonna be doing a shootout here. You gotta have crime here. You gotta have drugs here for it to be popular. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What? Where's the norm? Like, are there not black people who have who are normal? You know I saying? don't think norm sells on either side anymore. It probably doesn't because people have a different expectation. It doesn't. It yeah. just doesn't sell. It doesn't sell on either side anymore. Yeah. Nobody wants to see the African movie special anymore. Nobody yeah. wants to see yeah. Family Matters, yeah. white or black. <laughs> True, I guess, yeah. It, it, does, it's just, it doesn't sell. It doesn't translate because we're so used to, Yeah, it just speaks to how, how messed up our brains are. That's what I'm saying. We're so used to it just going wrong all the time mm. that something has to be, has to be like, oh, you got a mixed family, so you're going to have problems, so we're going to make yeah. up problems. Yeah. Like serious, super yeah. duper problems. And it's crazy. Mm. Um, on either side, I don't see nobody else, nobody getting the perfect family anymore. That's, I mean, you know it's almost like Blackish. Like, Blackish is like the only thing you've ever that was, the only show has been since the Cosby's or the other other one with um with the other creator. I forgot what his name is. Um, it's um, uh, what's it called? Something about being black. I forgot what it's called. Uh, it's on, it's on, it's on, um, I'll, I'll remember. Don't worry. But it's another show with another black family it has uh, Quincy Jones' daughter on it. Oh, uh, Black AF. Okay. You know? You know, it's about the same. I think that's the same two, same person. Yeah, the producer that's same, going yeah, show. Same producer. He's actually so the like, actor, the lead actor. Yes, yeah, uh, that was that was crazy. Yeah, but Kenya. It Kenya wasn't Harris. so much. Kenya Harris, I think. It wasn't so much believable for me. Yeah, it wasn't. Believable. I was like, okay, yeah. all it, was, right. it wasn't really that good. This actually. is. It was. It was different. It was decent, but it was not great. It was different. I, I liked it because it was a little different. It had like a little mm-hmm. tang to it, and I was like, okay, cool. Okay, I could watch this. Yeah, but I'm not a binger of like. Mm-hmm. Shows like that no more. I don't yeah. even. So I get, can't even so, get so into it. Getting back to the comedy thing, the, the, the I'm like lineup. comedy tokens, right? Yeah. So we got, you know, we get past Chris Rock. We go to, uh, let's say Martin Lawrence. Uh-huh. Martin Lawrence is playing both sides, but Martin Lawrence has to call back. Martin Lawrence, I think after Martin Lawrence and Cedric the Entertainer, mm-hmm. after Cedric, Cedric gets into TV, mm-hmm. gets into movies, mm-hmm. he's everywhere. Yeah. I mean, he, yeah, he, yeah, he's everywhere. You could sell him on, on the side of a billboard right now. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and he's playing both sides. Like these these guys that get to get up so high, they yeah. can play both, both sides. sides. That's exactly. what I'm talking exactly. about. Okay, I got you. Right, there's mm-hmm. certain there's certain people that's not gonna be able to play both sides. No, Cat yeah. Williams doesn't play both. Sides. No, he does. They can't. He's he can't be on the TV. Yeah, he can't be. A, he, no, I know he can. I know he probably can act. He probably can do it. He probably did. He doesn't want to. But they don't. But I don't think they're ever gonna make him the token. No, no, they can't. Black guy. Because like, you know what, he can't be. Because you know, the token black guy has to be able to to fit into a role. He has to be able to be marketable to both sides. So you got to put him in a dress. You got to put him in a dress. And then you know the whole <laughs> situation with Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart was like, they asked Kevin Hart, it's like, equalizer. he said, he said, hey, are you gonna, are you gonna, uh, you're gonna be? I, I don't know. I've never been. I don't know. I never, man. I don't know. Nobody they asked never me, asked me, so I, you know, I, I highly I, doubt. Yeah. Then two two on years later. SNL, He's in a dress. SNL, and he's then, in a full blue dress. And then, and it looks, it looks terrible. And then what happened is, he goes to the, did you ever notice after that, his career started taking off even more? It it just moved, it just, it just the next level. After. It just went skyrocket after that. So, I, you know, it's the, to me, it's like, 
there's got to be some in, in this whole Illuminati thing. There's like different type of rituals, and one of the rituals is either a homosexual ritual or a uh, uh, an like an embarrassment or like a, a humiliation ritual. And for some of these actors, one of the the rituals is for comedians is to get an address. That's why Dave Chappelle said, "I'm not going to do the dress thing." You know what I'm saying? Certain you have yep. did you, Eddie Murphy ever do a dress? Yeah. What do you mean? Eddie Murphy plays girls. Oh, that's plays true. You're right. He did it in the girls. Club. He plays women. Oh, yeah. True. He's been in a dress. Too. So he's been playing women yeah, a long he, time. He just had makeup on. So I was like, yeah, you're he's right. He's been playing women a long time. Martin Lawrence did the dress. Martin Lawrence. With that, that mama. I think Richard Pryor did, did the dress at he one point. He definitely did. He, no, he did that. I think he did it in JoJo Dancer. Something like that. There yeah, we go. He did a dress in JoJo Dancer. There we go. Uh, Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes. Bing Rames. <laughs> Vin Walking. Rames. He didn't. I mean, you were not even a comedian. You were you were in a dress. Uh, this is all. It's all black people trying. To, all, all. You never. They had Terry Crews do do Terry a little white lady song. That's true. Like he was, and he. The Wayans, the Wayans brothers. The Wayans brothers. Oh. Wayans brothers. They, they might have did that just because they wanted to. Eh. Them, I don't believe. I don't know because they see because the, the whole family's put on. The whole family's put. It's on. It's not like one person. But it's they, like everybody. But everybody's put and they're on. all weird like that. That's what I'm saying. But guess what? They all. Like, but who who actually had the dresses on? Uh, you never, Keenan never had what a dress on. What you mean? On. I'm, uh, Did Keenan ever have a dress on? The the jokes though were so the jokes far. were funny. Um, yeah. mm. but they had the white chicks movie. The white chicks movie. With, with, and then remember Sean. remember Damon Wayans and and also what's his name the other guy. Uh, so we're down the line. I'm pretty sure all of them wore them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they did. To least, do to get to, to get to, to that do level, what they, they want to do what they wanted to do, but I think they were doing it just out of I, for I them. Funny, I feel like they were just doing that for, trying for fun, to be funny. funny, exactly. And they, they type of funny is out there. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, <laughs> they, do, they type of funny is like I'm gonna push the envelope. Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah, but you know what? They got their they had a franchise. That whole scream like that that other like um, oh yeah thing that whole situation was kind of really taken away from them. That, they, remember when they did like the parodies mm-hmm. or like Scream and stuff? Yeah. That was that was theirs for a while. And then it was like literally just taken away. And other directors were wow. using it. So the company took that away from them. Yeah, so it's they they had their own franchise going there for a they while. Got it, man. man, shoot. That that family that family's that family's talented. Very Kim, very much so. Kim, even the like everybody in that whole family is funny. funny it's, it's funny. Even the sister. Kim, she's hilarious. I haven't seen her in a while. Kim Wayne, shout out to Kim Wayne. We ain't seen in a long time. Come back and do something. Come back and do something. Uh, I think she just, I don't know. I'm trying to remember. I'm, I'm going so, too far. So, um, but this whole Cat Williams thing, uh-huh. there's a lot of there's a lot to be uncovered in this video. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna probably double back around double to back some around. To, to some stuff, man. Because yeah. some stuff I know you didn't get a chance to watch. Yeah, yeah. And we gotta get to yeah, it. Yeah, we gotta get to those things. But we're gonna do that on next time. Right here yeah. on, on the D and D Leveling Up podcast. podcast. And, and if you, you don't know, know now you know. know. That's right, y'all. Deuces. Oh, Peace. Hit. See you on the next podcast. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. It's Happy the new, new year. year. Happy New Year. Twenty twenty four, baby. Let's do it. Let's Make go. it big. Like, Let's subscribe. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.